Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome into another episode of Titans Tube. It is Caleb and Amy, and we are bringing you your weekly NFL picks. Woo! Amy, what week are we picking this week? We are on week 13 this week, Caleb. Which... Wow, unlucky week. Oh, well, it depends on how you view it. It could also be a lucky week. Uh, but before we move on to week 13, let's take a look back at week 12, see how we did. Um, Caleb, your wet record for week 12? I'm feeling good about this one. 11 and 5. 11 and yeah, 5. Yeah, that's something to be proud of. That'll make the postseason. Yes. Uh, you think you did better than me or not? Because you did have some different picks than me. I do. You were trying to catch yes. up. I always think me. I've done better than you. Okay. Yes, that's just, that's how you got to roll in this league. You know, I'm not going to lie. I was a little nervous because a lot of your picks that you did do differently than I did. Like the Browns over Tampa Bay. <laughs> you got that one. Another one, yeah. Another one was the Panthers uh, beating Panthers win. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was a little nervous counting them up this week, but I will say uh, we actually tied. I'm not going to lie So Okay, good job, Aim. So a draw. Yeah. I mean, the World Cup is going on, so ties are viable. So we have a draw. Shall we, we had say. a yes. Um, so that brings our total records. Caleb, you're 69 and 48. I am 78 and 39. So you still have some catching up to do. Well, I don't want to win another game now with that with that win. Okay, total. I can't wait to so, see your picks for this week. Okay. Then. Um, Does but that yeah. mean I get to do it now? Yes, I will let yes. I'll let you do it. Here you go. Ty goes to Take the sure. runner, and I'll be running. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. I'm rusty. It's Woo. been a while. Uh, week 13. We start with this one. I am. Oh, thank and you. save that one for the end. So we'll start with a Thursday night game. It is December 1st. We're in entering the December month of oh, football where the true contenders come out and the pretenders fall by the wayside. So who's the true contender in this matchup here? We have the Buffalo Bills going to New England, both teams with a winning record. Thursday night, prime time. I'm pretty intrigued by this game. Amy, who, who will you like? Who will I like? Who will you know, you like I'm intrigued here? by this game too. These This AFC North division, who would have thought is like crazy good this season so i definitely think this is going to be a good matchup i think the bills are going to eke by with a win here at gillette uh but it's going to be hard fought they're really gonna to have to work for it this it's an interesting matchup you know i feel like bill belichick always has the bills number and we got a great game last year remember that crazy win where mac jones only had to throw it three yeah. times uh and yeah. then the bills came back in the playoffs and put it on new england so mm -hmm. i think new england's wanting some revenge right here i'm actually going with the patriots at home i think they're going to have a game plan for josh allen and company and yeah, I think Mac Jones is going to do enough. He had his best outing last week on Thanksgiving. So yeah, maybe he's trending upwards. I'm taking the Patriots at home. You really are trying to not win another game, huh? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, Sunday. Now we're moving on to Sunday. We have the Steelers going to face the Falcons. Very close matchup. A team at 4-7, and seven, Pittsburgh Falcons 5-7. and seven. Amy, I'm going to start off with you again because I don't want to pick these really hard games. I want to hear this your is, input this is first. My strategy. This is why I love going first. You know, the Pittsburgh coming off of a big win on Monday night against the Colts. Thank you, Pittsburgh, for uh, beating the Colts. Falcons are down one of their best players. I'm going to go with the Steelers here. It's going to be an ugly game. There's not really going to be much rhythm, but I do think Kenny Pickett and Mike Tomlin, the whole crew, they pull out the win. I think I'm going to go with the Falcons here at home. They've been struggling. Yeah, they're out with Kyle Pitts for the rest of the year. Marcus Mariota is up and down, literally yeah. and physically. He's hit the ground a lot and still tried to throw passes this year, which it's hard to still start him at quarterback after that. But uh, I think I'm going to choose them at home. If they're going to win anywhere, they're gonna, the Falcons are going to win at home. And okay. it's against the Steelers. And okay. yeah, short week for them. I got Falcons. Okay, Packers against the Bears. Packers have a lot of issues going on right now. They're going to Chicago, but they own the Bears. Justin Fields has been out. I still think I'm going to go with the Packers. I keep on choosing them every week, and that's probably why I have so many losses. You didn't they choose have... them two weeks ago, I will say that. but Good memory, but yeah, I'm going with Packers here. If, if Aaron Rodgers plays, which I think he's going to, he owns the Bears. If Justin Fields isn't starting, the Bears are in disarray. They're probably going to start tanking anytime soon. Maybe shut down Justin Fields for the season. What do you think? Yeah, Aaron's saying he's going to be back and he's going to be ready to take on the Bears. Um, we'll see if that happens. But I think either way, I still think the Pack are going to pull this out. I do have faith in Jordan Love. He is... I. I think even if Aaron doesn't start and it is Jordan Love, I don't think the Packers are just a sinking ship. I mean, 
they are a sinking ship, but they're not going to sink as deep. I agree. Um, they're not going to sink against the bears yeah. on the road. Okay, even with, yeah, I have faith in Jordan Love too. Good points, Ames. Okay, next we got a matchup of four and seven teams. How unlikely. The some Jaguars. Cats. We got some cats. Jaguars getting a huge win over the Ravens last week. Who called that? Not either one of us. Almost did. I did. I will say I almost picked that. Do I get a point for that? You don't know. You know. You didn't almost pick that. You I did literally almost pick straight that. went to the Ravens. Whatever. Anyways, they're they're going to Detroit to face the Lions. Ames. <laughs> this is actually a really intriguing game, which is so kind of crazy to say. Um, I do think the Jags are going to pull this win out. They are kind of starting to get some rhythm and get some flow. Uh, I think the Jags are going to take the win here at Ford Field against the Lions. Yeah, that's been the Jags, though, this year. They'll have a moment of like, oh, yeah, you know, they are talented. They have a good coach now. They're starting to get some culture in place, but then they'll just completely drop off. And they have some playmakers, too. They have some playmakers. I'm seeing them drop off from last week's win here. I got the Lions winning at home. They they do enough to get it done. So, yeah, it's an intriguing game in terms of trying to pick it to win, but in terms of, like, how it's going to affect the playoff field. Not intriguing. I think it'll whatsoever. be high. I think it'll be high scoring too. So those are always fun to watch. Okay, next up, another. This one is is intriguing. The Jets rolling with Mike White. Mike going to face the Vikings and my boy Kirk Cousins. Okay, Kirk Thuggins. Do we have quarterback controversy in New York? Hmm. I don't no, know. No, I don't think so. I think Mike White. Mike White has taken the job. He shut that down. He shut that down. But uh, I think he's going to go a loss right here. Maybe open that door back for Zach Wilson to take over. The Vikings are just too good all around. Well-balanced team. Better than the Jets. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Well-balanced all the way around. I think they get the dub, especially at home. Yes. Okay. Teams. Two teams with seven wins and a good matchup here. Commanders and Giants. I'm surprised here. The Commanders are two and a half point favorites traveling to the Giants. That surprises me. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to make you pick it first. Oh, hey, I'm in charge of this one. <laughs> okay, anyways, I am actually going to go with the Commanders. They have been rolling. They the, have. The Giants, I never thought were as good as their record. I still don't think they're as good as their 7-4 and four record. Maybe if they get and entice OBJ to come join them. I still don't think they're going to be that great. Uh, but I, I like what the commanders have been putting on the field. I think their defense is better. Mm-hmm. Um, if, Saquon, if Saquon Barkley breaks free, that's how the Giants win, but it's not going to happen with that defensive line that the commanders have. So. Yeah, the commanders got to keep the Giants to no big plays, um, and I think that they will get the W. I think the man- commanders are going to win. I feel like they've really kind of found their groove in the last few games. Even though they have had some losses here or there, they still – play like a complete team um which they weren't doing in the beginning of the season so i think they'll get the w yeah they're actually the only winning team that the titans have beaten on the year but when we beat them they were one and four so a little twist there wow okay broncos and ravens i'm going ravens you know broncos i'm i don't know if i'm gonna pick i've picked them so much this season and I, i don't know caleb i don't know And I'm done. I'm done picking them. Ravens take the win. Move on. They're not favorites here, and you always pick the favorites. So that's Ames' strategy. It's not my strategy. Yeah, it is your strategy. Okay, Browns and Texans. Browns coming off a big upset at home in overtime against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers that I did call correctly. You did. And they're going to face the by far the worst team in the NFL. I've been banned from saying the cliche words of trash and dumpster fire, so I don't I don't know. The Texans are a pile of poop. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to lose here again to the Browns against Deshaun Watson. We'll move on. Big game. Deshaun Watson coming back to Houston. He hasn't played um, a regular season football game. It on When this game happens, it will have been exactly 700 days. Uh, so what is he going to show us? I don't know. Um, I think the Browns are going to take this win. Um, I know the big story is going to be Deshaun's comeback, but I think when it just comes to football, Browns are going to take it. I would love to see the Texans foil that return, though. I'll say that much. But at 1-9-1... and and It's hard to pick them, but it would be funny if that happens. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Seahawks and Rams. Intriguing division matchup here. Probably teams, people thought they would be flip-flopped in records right now, looking heading into the year, but we have Seahawks sitting at 6-5, and second in their division facing the lowly Rams who have a plethora of injuries and a plethora of problems coming off their Super Bowl hangover. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Seattle here on the road. doesn't matter that it's in LA. Yeah. Seahawks are going to get the dub. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Rams are nursing the hangover of a lifetime. It's still hanging around. Seahawks get the dub. 
Okay, here is the matchup that I wanted to see in Sunday Night Football. Why did we not get it? Probably because it's on Fox. But the Dolphins going to San Francisco to face the 49ers. Literally one of the best offenses in the NFL versus probably the best mm -hmm. defense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the 49ers offense, they got weapons. Though they only put up 13 points last week. They still have weapons. Uh, Amy, here you go. I'm going to go with you first on this one. San Francisco is favored by four points, so I would expect you to pick them. <laughs> I am so excited about this game. Um... <laughs> I, you know, I just like in my head, I keep thinking like, how are Tyreek and Jalen Waddle going to perform against this 49ers defense that has been just like top notch? I mean, they have been playing literally lights out, um, zero point goose eggs when it comes to defense. You know what? I'm going to go with the Dolphins here. I think they're going to come out with the dub in San Francisco. It's going to be really fun to watch. I'm excited. Absolutely not. Okay. I'm going 49ers. Okay. Do you know who Nick Bosa is? Yeah, I do. I've heard that he name. He is going to eat Tua. He's going to pick him up and just eat him. That's well, what I happens to I hope that's not Tua. what happens. We've, no, seen, not we've seen too much happen to Tua this season. I know. I and honestly, I'm going into this game worried for Tua's life. The 49ers defense is a menace. Yeah, and they if are. they can get back to Tua... We might be talking about some injuries after this game. Who knows? But I hope not. But mm -hmm. I, I got the 49ers winning this one. Uh, yeah, shutting down that Dolphin offense. It's going to be exciting. It is going to be exciting. Okay. okay. Yeah, you bring up Nick Bosa getting back there to Tua. But do you know how fast Tyreek Hill can run? Tua doesn't need to stand back there very long. No, he so. doesn't. That's it's a good matchup. We can talk about that one a lot. And we got another good matchup here. Unfortunately, the Bengals coming off a win. Facing the Chiefs at home, another rematch. Bengals are on their rematch series here of who they beat in the playoffs mm -hmm. last year. First mm -hmm. the Titans, now moving on to the Chiefs. Do they play the Rams next week? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, who I'm gonna go with Cincy here again. Sorry, Kansas oh City. I think you. I think you're due for a loss here. The Bengals did show me something. They they played with. They came into Tennessee and they showed toughness without their two best offensive players. Yeah. No one was in the rhythm on either side. And I think when that happens, just the tougher team wins. And I didn't think I, I could see that from Cincy, especially with how we've been dominating people this year. And so uh, I think they're going to bring their toughness against KC here and get the win at home. I got yeah. Bengals. Yeah, I'm really building up. That. I'm really building up a strong dislike for the Bengals. They're leaving bad taste in my mouth anytime we play them. Um, so I just, I can't get over that. So I'm going to go with the Chiefs. I'm literally going to be like rooting for the Chiefs here just because I'm still so sour when it comes to the Bengals. Um, I think the Chiefs are going to keep their rhythm. They've had it the last few games. They're going to carry it into this game. And yeah, when the Chiefs are in the rhythm, there's no one out there who can beat them, not even the Bengals. Okay. Next up, Chargers and Raiders. AFC West. AFC West matchup here. Raiders have been sort of getting some wins here and there are they still in a hope for the playoffs who knows barely anything can happen chargers are hanging on for their dear life to stay above 500 somehow with their talented roster uh brandon staley is not really making a click over there i'll say that they've had lots of injuries too they I have had like lots of injuries him, um, i'm actually going with gonna go with the raiders here okay at home Demonte okay. Adams put up 300 yards. My fantasy team would love that. Um, I'm going to go with the Chargers here. Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be really hard. For, I mean, the Raiders are like their whole theme this season. I feel like has been close games and particularly close losses. Um, I think, unfortunately, they're about to add another one to that Oof. to that string of this of this season, this storyline. Okay. Well, Sunday night we got the matchup we all wanted: <laughs> the Colts back to back primetime games. Hey, against the Cowboys. Some people thought they were going to win the Super Bowl at the beginning of the year. Good Let's God. Just say that. Uh, okay, I got the Cowboys in a landslide. <laughs> yeah, this game is, it's not going to be that entertaining. I can't, honestly, I can't believe Dallas is only 11 point favorites. I thought it'd be at least 15. Uh, Cowboys get this dub easily. Yeah, Matt Ryan is washed. Jeff Saturday sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Colts are a pile of shit. <laughs> Yeah, I brought that out. Yeah. For them. Okay, we got another division matchup here. Very close division matchup. Saints going to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, are they going to hang on? They're still they're winning their division right now under 500. I hate that for the AFC. What about for the NFC? Who knows? <laughs> I don't really care, but uh, <laughs> I got the buck. I got Tampa Bay winning this one on Monday night. They're going to get a win. They're going to mm. get back to 500, keep that lead. 
Yeah, this this division is just whack this year. It's so it's so weird. Um, but I'm gonna go with the Bucks getting the win as well. Don't think it's gonna be super pretty football by either team, but you know, here we are. Never thought I'd say that about a Tom Brady game, but I can't I can't speak for this season, so Okay, moving on to the biggest matchup. Not the final matchup of the week, but the biggest. 11 a.m. Mountain Time on Sunday. Titans going to Philly to face the 10-1 Eagles. You may think it, it, it would be a tough road challenge for the Titans. Philly favorite at that 5.5 points, so you know who Amy's going to pick. But I'm going with the boys on the road. Titans, let's get it done. We'll figure out a way. We're going to learn from that loss against Cincy, and we're going to come back. Tannehill's been, been catching fire. I like where Traylon Burks is going right now. People thought our passing game would be our weakest aspect of this team. And yes, our stats prove that. But within the last few weeks, we finally got that going where teams have been shutting down Derrick Henry. We're starting to get more balanced on offense. If we can get some of our pieces on defense healthier, uh, we're going to we're gonna take them. We're going to take Philly. I do like what we have been displaying as of late, especially I feel like since everyone really started criticizing our lack of passing game, especially after that win over the Packers on Thursday night. Um I feel and our loss to the Chiefs. I feel like after those primetime games, everyone was just like, who are the Titans gonna throw the ball to? They can't just run Derrick Henry over and over again. And I feel like we really have started to show we can throw the ball. Yeah, we don't have like some of the best receivers in the league, but we can still be efficient when it comes to the passing game. So I really like that we have brought that in. Tanny's been on fire. Um but I but don't the Eagles have been showing some cracks lately. Uh, they have not been blowing teams out like they were the first few weeks. Um, so I but do cracks. think it's going to be a close game. But crack, I think the Eagles are going to win. Oh my gosh! How I could hope you not. Even? I hope not. I don't want. I don't want to lose two in a row. But it's hard. It's hard to pick against this Eagles team. Like there really has to be something. I don't know. There's really got to be like a very cohesive, well-balanced team to beat these Eagles. And I just don't think we're quite there yet. We can. We can pull it out for the game, but I think the Eagles are going to show up. Well. Hope not. That's a lie. Hope I'm wrong. That's not going to happen. Well, Ames, it looks like the only team that was not a favorite that you picked was Miami. So good job. No. No. Well, that's it for Stop week 13, it. Oh people. We will see you next week. Go Titans. Tighten, Tighten up. up. Tighten up.